Hello guys, y'all. Today I need to show you something. This one right here. Myanmar attractions man. No. Hold on. No, that's not it. It's Yangon attraction map. Because we're working on Myanmar attractions map, that's why. Yangon attractions map, okay? Now we have a bunch of maps available in Yangon, but this one is a little bit different. Because this one we have a lot of these locations where you can visit them, you know? Uh, because I find out that most of the people that like to visit, of course, number one is Sri Lankan Pagoda when you arrive in Myanmar. And of course, we have some descriptions about that. Uh, that's in our number one top list with 2,600 years old. All right, and we have this map sessions right here. Maybe you can see it uh, right there, okay? We have a bunch of uh, GPS locator so you can find them easily, all right? Now, on the top of that, our map is a little bit different from other people's map because our map has a massive amount of information. Sometimes I do not want to call this as a map. I call it as a, a guide or even a booklet full of information. Now, here we have uh, a bunch of these uh, every day that we eat uh, the food. Um, we have a bunch of these um, laid out in these sessions. And we have uh, Myanmar language for some of those that like to visit a one country and then like to learn something, and it is right here. The most commonly used language and questions are right here. And of course, we have a visa information for those people that like to. Sometimes, you know, you got 30 days or 28 days in Myanmar and it's not enough, then you want to extend your visa. And some of the visas can be extended, some of the visas can't. Uh, we have some information right over here. Also, we have websites right over here. And we have important phone numbers for those people that like to you know, call somebody once in a while, you know, they get into trouble or something like that. And this is the important phone numbers that we listed right over here for you. Now, of course, when we're looking at the, ah, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that, this, uh, right here, this little flag right over here, this is actually the embassy contact phone number in case of emergency you can call them, okay? We all listed right over here too. Now, we're looking at the, the other side of it. Now, the other side is very interesting because the other side is we have a closer look. This is the Shredagon Pagoda, around the Shredagon Pagoda, where you can find, all right, the restaurants, the coffee shops, uh, anywhere that you can eat, and stuff like that, all right? And of course, we have a do's and don'ts. Uh, there's a lot of people, uh, because Myanmar is uh, a Buddhism country, all right? We have a lot of Buddhists. There's a lot of uh, traditions and cultures you need to respect. Please respect ours, too. We have a bunch of the reminders from the Ministry of Hotel and Tourism. And of course, we have a little bit of rainfall and, um, what is it called, rainfall and, uh, and temperature. And some of the months are really, really hot and a lot of rains, okay? And then here we have a closer look about downtown area where you can navigate around downtown with no problems at all. Of course, again, we have a shopping center listed over here. We have a coffee shops and restaurants here. Now, on this side, this side is very, very interesting. This side, we have other cities in Myanmar. And of course, a lot of people besides Tridagon Pagoda, they like to visit Bagan, considered to be one of the best places you can visit, or it considered, or actually it was voted the best romantic place to propose, all right? In the world, it's Bagan in 2016. So we have a bunch of information right over here, we have some pictures, then you can look at them, all right? All right, guys, uh, this is it for our map. Please pick up one at the airport or at your hotel. Ask them for it, it's called Myanmar, oh no, 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 it's called Yango Attractions Map, all right? See you guys soon.